بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونزلنا عليك الكتابة بيانا لكل شيء وهدى ورحمة وبشرى للمسلمين صدق الله العظيم So then what is دابه الارض which comes and will come sorry will come because has not as yet happened and will destroy this is consuming destroy this property of the stuff connected with time connected with time i believe you will dismiss you will easily dismiss all that you find in the tafsir the dead termites <laughs> yes yeah punch up your carcass that's all <laughs> so what is it it can't be termites it has to be something which will destroy the miraculous quality of the stuff the heart of the stuff the spiritual heart of the stuff which gave you the capacity if you holding on to the stuff to intervene in time it is as though it is something which destroys ruhaniyat now i come to my thinking and when i give you my views khamardar you don't accept my views unless you are convinced that i'm correct so i came to the conclusion and i can be wrong that what we experience now is preparatory to the destruction of the means of the stuff and in the process of launching this attack on the means of the stuff the attack is being launched on the spiritual heart of mankind and the most vulnerable of all in mankind are the children the spiritual heart of the stuff is connected with the capacity the capacity for internal sight and memory is critically important for thinking mm. if your memory becomes weak you cannot be a great thinker and one of the reasons why we recite the quran every day rose 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 is because the quran has shifaed it And one of the first things that that she fathers is to keep our memory strong. If the memory is powerful, you can be I wish I knew the word for it, versatile. Versatile means the same man who is a medical doctor can become a nuclear scientist and become the greatest poet ever. And that same man if you give him a piece of wood will build a furniture for you beautifully. He's excellent here and there and there and there and there. anywhere he turn he's excellent. This is versatility. And I see the effect on the bees due to the child. And when I look at the children today I see that memory is declining in the children. I teach them because parent did not teach them i say okay first surah surah al-fatihah second one surah al-baqarah third surah ali imran fourth surah an-nisa fifth surah al-maida now go give you punch minute go walk memorize come back now you tell me first five you tell me the children who have the smartphones and who live in the city have the least memory and the children from the countryside gao who are not exposed to the smartphone this the the internet the, the electromagnetic waves around us today and who don't live in the city they have the best memory <laughs> so our prophet said largely perhaps because of the battle up He said the time will come when a believer in order to protect his deen would have to flee to the mountain sides why because the mountain blocks 
you can't use your cell phone. <laughs> you have to flee to the mountainside and the places where rain falls. Take with him some sheep and goats. So I have come to the conclusion, and I can be wrong. A Dhammatul Ard is not some creature like this pathetic termite that my critics accept. But rather the Dhammatul Ard is something which attacks and destroys the spiritual heart of the staff and therefore can damage the spiritual heart of the human being. And I identify it with the electromagnetic waves now coming with 3G and 4G and 5G and 6G and so on. Finally, one last thing. There is a second reference to Dabbatul Ard in the Quran, only two. This is the first one with the staff, consuming it. The second one is that Dabbatul Ard is a sign of the last day and that. Uh, they would either speak to mankind or damage mankind. The Arabic text can be read two ways. If it's being, re re if it's being spoken, of course, we know exactly what it is. But when it's not spoken and it's written, then they put in these diacritical marks, Fatah and Kesra and Dhamma. And you can change it around because this didn't come from Allah. This is human beings. So they wrote it, the Dabatul Ad to Kalimuhum would speak to mankind. And I said, I want to take that with a pinch of salt. Because I still have a mind with which to think. Speaking to mankind? The other one is taklimuhum, would injure you, and damage you. I say that makes more sense to me. So I have departed from this <laughs> the overwhelming majority of the scholars of Islam and the Muslims accept that one. So they will have to solve their problem. I can't solve it for them. But because I accept that the Quran is saying that the Dabatul Al will damage you, this one makes a lot of sense. And the damage is already taking place.